made it to the ferry, just waiting to go on. And we'll be on our way. So the situation is, it's, what is it, 5.30? Um, it said online that the latest ferry back was 10.15. So I was like, okay, cool, that gives me time to drive up to the north of Kalsoy, do the lighthouse hike, and then come back for the ferry. Um, and I'll get some nice late afternoon sort of evening light. But I just read on the sign inside that you have to book that ferry. So I'm just going to ask him what the latest ferry is. Um, otherwise, he might just have to come back tomorrow morning or tomorrow at some point. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so that whole idea really didn't work out. The latest ferry, it turns out, is at 6.30, which only gives me about half an hour here, so... I went for a little drive, but we're just back at the ferry dock now, waiting. That's all good, we'll come back tomorrow. Upside is we can head back to the main islands and shoot sunset somewhere over there. So on the way back from Kalsoy, um, just decided to stop at this waterfall, or waterfalls, I should say. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Apparently there's a trail that goes up around the back there up to the top waterfall which is a lot bigger than that one so we'll go up there and check it out. Okay so scrap that idea to go up to the top one. That trail is actually kind of long I think and I want to try and get to Suxon to shoot sunset or the last of the light so we'll go up and check this one out and then we'll get back on the road. <laughs> yeah that's pretty impressive. That's not bad. Not as impressive as Iceland though. <laughs> I've come back to that little village of Saxon, I think is how you pronounce it, just to shoot these cool little houses. Yeah, such a cool little village. There's a waterfall right there. So neat. such a cool little village <laughs> and yeah I think that about wraps up day five um, tomorrow we'll be up pretty early we're gonna try and get the first ferry over to Kalsoy I think it's 640 I think it leaves um, so we can go out there do the lighthouse hike Ooh, cannot tell you how excited I am for that um, and then we'll try and come back about lunchtime yeah figure out a plan for the afternoon yeah, I'm just going to head back to the, the house, edit some photos, do the usual, eat some food, get some sleep. Tomorrow morning at Kelso. So excited to do that hike. So we made it over to Kelso again this morning. Um, here to do the lighthouse hike. As you can see at the moment it's a little bit a little bit cloudy so just gonna wait for that to clear before we do the hike. Just gonna take a look around the village. So I'm going to head up on the trail now and see up as it starts. Goes up there and over the top behind the cloud somewhere. Fingers crossed. It's not too foggy or cloudy up there. So I just made it up to the lighthouse. That was a pretty easy climb. It only took 30 minutes. These views. Oh my god. We walk out along that ridge there. Looks a little bit sketchy, but we'll give it a go. It's that ridge there. 
Why has is there? Look at that! Oh my god! I really hope the scale of this place translates on camera because that is absolutely massive. I'm using a 16mm lens and I still can't get that entire cliff in one frame. Like that has to be, geez, I don't know, six or seven hundred vertical meters, maybe. Right, so I think while it's still clear, I'm gonna walk out on that ridge down there, send the drone up get some insane drone footage. Oh, I can't believe this place. Okay, made it back to the car. Yeah, they spent like four hours up there, which a fair few people actually rocked up at the end, so I was like, yeah, get out of there. Plus, either my charging cable for my iPhone is cooked, or my iPhone is cooked. Let's hope it's this one. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've got about, what's the time? Quarter past one, so we've got about two hours to the next ferry, so not really sure what to do, to be honest. I want no food. Apples, so we'll just wait for the ferry. So we made it back to Klaxvik, which is just down there. And I was gonna do a hike called uh, Klakur or something, which is up there somewhere, but the road's blocked off. I can't get up there, so instead, I'm gonna send the drone out over that guy because the light looks pretty sweet. And then we're gonna grab some food and then head back towards the house, I think. All right, so I've just come to check out one of the popular little seaside towns in the Faroes. Can't remember the name of it. I, I really should get better at remembering all the names of these little towns, but it is hard. But it's quite famous or it's quite popular anyway because of the big slipway they have to launch boats. I'll show you in a second. So that's the big slipway there. They basically use it to launch boats. They put them on the rollers and just put them straight in. What a beautiful little town though. So we just came up this hill above the town. Look at these cliffs. Woo. Come back to the little village of Saxon just before I head back to the house. Just walking down to like the fjord, sort of the bay. So, what I actually came down this trail to find is on the other side of this lake. A little house over there with the grass roof. So, I think you must have to go up through the village, up through there, and down. But, still some nice views. Might as well end the day there, I think. It's the end of day six today. Just gonna head back to the house, edit a few photos, and then try and get an early night because three hours sleep last night was not enough. It's been a big day. All right, see you tomorrow for day seven. The last day.
the morning of day seven today in the Faroes, which means it is the last day of the trip, which is a little bit sad, but we've got plenty on today. We've got a bit to do, so down here near Varga at the moment, just checking out these cool little cabins. And then we're gonna go see a waterfall. I'm back at Müllerfusser this morning. That's how you say it. Um, nobody else here, which is really nice. It's kind of cool. The camera probably doesn't pick it up either, but it is actually snowing a little bit right now. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna head back to the car because I forgot my gloves. I left them back at the house and my hands are freezing. But that's pretty cool. Mulefister. That's not how you say it, but whatever. Pretty cool to have it all to myself as well, one of the most popular spots on the islands. But gonna head back now up towards somewhere up that way. And I've got a hike to do out to another very popular spot, um, which I'll explain a bit more about when I get back to the car, because my hands are freezing. So what's happened is, a couple of weeks ago, they closed off two of the main attractions here on the Faroes, um, and now you have to pay to go and see them, and not only that, you have to go with a guide. Um, and I understand the idea, like the tourism here in the Faroes is blowing up quite a bit in the past couple of years. Um, so, you know, they have every right to cash in on it, and as long as the money goes back into the same place, then that's good. But I don't understand the price. For example, this place just behind me, or in front of me, I should say, that place out there, I forget the name of it, but you hike all the way out along here and over to there. Really popular spot, um, a pretty long hike, but that now costs $115 Australian to go out there for something that was free a few weeks ago. So that kind of put me out a little bit, to be honest, I was like, what? And the other place, which is the one I am going to, which I can't remember the name of either, that ended up costing me about $90 still, which I think is pretty insane, to be honest. But yeah, I was like, I was expecting sort of 20 or 30 bucks maybe, but 90 bucks to go and do something that was free not long ago. Mm. I get the idea, do I get the price? Eh, not really. But anyway, we're gonna go do that this morning without gloves and it's three degrees and mildly snowing, so I'm probably gonna suffer there. <laughs> So it's been a bit of a confusing morning so far. I arrived at the start of the trail. Um, I lost the little Wi-Fi SIM card when I was trying to reset my Wi-Fi thing in the car, so I have no internet. So I can't look up where I'm supposed to meet my guide. Um, and there's no one here, so I'm just gonna go. But the interesting thing is, there's a little house here that you're meant to pay at usually. But it says you can do it with a guide for blah, blah, blah. blah. But it says price without a guide. So you can do it on your own without a guide, but it's said online you can only do it with a guide, and I'm just, it's so confusing, so. This is price with a guide and then on your own, so. I don't know, and then there's a little money box there as well, but I've already paid online the amount to go with a guide, and no one here, so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Made it up to the top of the trail. Look at that light. This is the vantage point that I'm sure most of you have seen before. There it is. That's pretty impressive. So I was just up on the cliffs, which is sort of back over there. I'm gonna head over to these big sea stacks 
just behind that ridge there if we come up. It's like a waterfall down there as well when the lake runs out. Oh, this place is so sick. It keeps snowing like a little bit every now and then. It's, it's pretty cold. <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever seen a waterfall that flows out into the ocean. At least not one that looks like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Almost to the sea mounds. Uh, about another few hundred meters over the hill there. As you can see where we were before. Way up on there. And we are nearly, well, we're almost here actually. Whoa. So they were crazy. <laughs> they were as cool as they look from a distance. Um, probably gonna pop the camera away now. So I've got to try and get back and find the trail. And then head back to the car, which is somewhere over there. On the way back to the car, I came around to the other side of the cliffs. That's where I was up there before. Look at this view though. was just up there before. Whew. Just for scale purposes, there's a few people over there. And that's the small part. Jeez. the house um, didn't film a lot this afternoon I've just been at the house for the most part just cleaning and packing up all my stuff but yeah that wraps up the vlogs and wraps up this whole trip so um, I'll try and keep the vlogs going when I get back to Australia I've got a few trips I want to do um, a few camping trips as well with Bobby so I'll try and keep the vlogs rolling so expect more of them soon but for now I'm gonna pack up get an early night and then get home basically. <laughs>